As both of you have watched these protests, some have been violent, most have been peaceful. What's gone through your mind? Have you been encouraged, discouraged, all of the above, none of the above? And uh, Steve, why don't we start with you? I would say there's all the above. It's been all the above. You've got anger, you've got sadness, you've got people who have angst, people who really are discouraged, some are encouraged. But this wide range of feelings is nothing new to Dr. Steve Lucy and the Reverend Wayne Robinson. Robinson's the senior pastor at the New Millennium Christian Center in Greensboro and a former Greensboro Day School and Virginia Tech basketball star who also played professionally. Lucy is a local orthopedic surgeon who, after 20 plus years practicing in Greensboro, joined some other doctors to open this outpatient surgery center. When I profiled these two a couple of years ago, they told me they met through the triad chapter of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. What is it about Wayne you like? Well, he's, he's my brother. We understand how important it is to look beneath the surface. After the unrest in Ferguson, Missouri about six years ago, they formed a group of both black and white friends in Greensboro who met often to pray. Consistently pray for our country, pray for our city, uh, and pray for race relations. Soon, that small group of praying friends became the nonprofit organization Mission Greensboro, which concentrates on improving race relations through friendly relationships fostered by frequent prayer meetings and social gatherings. All right, breaking news right now at 530. We covered the group's June 4th gathering live in our evening newscast. Not only did it include a prayer circle, but a walk down to the International Civil Rights Center. What was your purpose in what you did last Thursday? And, and what were you trying to accomplish? We're galvanizing energy and, and we're wanting men to feel comfortable with this whole idea of being together, to come together for one purpose, and that is to pray and to uh, lift our, our petitions, excuse me, to God about what it is that's most disconcerting about the situation that we're in right now. The heart changes when we lift our petitions to God, we study the word and we allow him to, first of all, position us so that we can see our errors, see the things that are positive, and then hopefully work together to see an, a society turn towards uh, things that are good and pleasing. What is the key to maintaining the relationships that support good race relations? That's a great question, and, and, and like all relationships, the key is intentionality. Coming with an open heart, wanting to be in a relationship, and exchanging information at our events where men you know, just meet each other, and then shooting a text, an email, a phone call, and, uh, and getting together to, to know one another. What is your message right now to our local community regarding race relations? What do you want people to take from all of this? And Wayne, we'll start with you. Neil, I think that what we as a community have to do is to spend more time listening to each other. It is imperative that we do not try to solve these problems uh, on the front end without thoroughly understanding where people are coming from. So if we can spend more time listening and really focusing in on what is truth versus what is evil, I believe that God will give us the answers and we just have to own it and move forward. So we can't change our past, but we can absolutely change our future. So we need to uh, just uh, love one another, communicate, listen, and move forward together, find real solutions to real problems.